Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. January 8th, 2019. And our first story from Sam Rubenfeld at the uh, Wall Street Journal. The governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, has nominated Linda Lacewell, a former prosecutor who worked as his chief of staff, to head the New York State Department of Financial Services. This is the most important regulatory agency not at the federal level in the United States. It's not known what Ms. Lacewell's views are on uh, the aggressive enforcement strategies and tactics used by the DFS, but if she follows her predecessors, uh, it will be uh, certainly one that you will need to watch. Next up, in an article from the Financial Times, How Hostage Negotiation Skills Provide Lessons for the Boardroom, Suzanne Williams, a British, a former British police hostage negotiator, now works to help young professionals, particularly women, on how to negotiate at work. Uh, she advocates a clear discussion, serious discussion, not a water cooler conversation, that uh, you don't have to deal with hostile silence and you don't have to put up with... Uh, men speaking over you. It is a method of preparation that will prove very interesting going forward. Next up in a story from Fast Times about the ways we could get hacked in 2019. And unfortunately, uh, we're in for quite a year in cybersecurity. Uh, First up is AI-powered malware uh, is going to supercharge uh, data theft and data breaches, Going forward, smart phishing, which is an email attack where an apparent legitimate institution is used to lure a receiver into providing sensitive data. This has been previously used uh, to get companies to wire transfer money. Uh, Vulnerable critical systems throughout the um, West are going to be uh, probed, no doubt, by the Chinese and the Russians continued. And then open source attacks and the risks associated with supply chain attacks where the attacker is a partner or supplier are certainly rising steadily together with trust attacks, which is an emerging emerging form of cyber threat, which is when the public's trust is utilized to um, steal sensitive data. And in our final story... Uh, Leonard DiCaprio, uh, who was most recently in The Wolf of Wall Street, the Oscar-winning movie, has now had to appear before a U.S. grand jury investigating the multimillion-dollar fraud around the Malaysian (coughs) scandal in 1MDB. While he's not a suspect, he was said to have useful insights into Malaysian financier Jay Lowe, who is alleged to have uh, stolen um, billions of dollars from 1MDB. Turns out that the funding for the movie came from uh, J. Lo and money he stole from the Malaysian government and the Malaysian Sovereign Wealth Fund. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and certainly a black eye for Mr. DiCaprio going forward. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I hope you'll join me tomorrow. As I previously announced, I'm going to continue the daily compliance news now into this new year of 2019. If there's any uh, interesting things you would like me to talk about, please email me and let me know. I'm at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. Your feedback is always welcome. You will check out some of the new offerings on the Compliance Podcast Network. Jay Rosen and myself have started a new podcast series, Popcorn and Compliance, a look at compliance through the lens of the movies that premiered Saturday, December 8th, and we'll post bi-monthly on Saturday for your entertainment and enjoyment listening pleasure. Finally, Mary Shirley and Lisa Fine have premiered their new podcast, Great Women on Compliance. I hope you will check that out. It's a great podcast series. We have several other offerings that we are in production and we'll go live after the first of the year on the Compliance Podcast Network.